when I was diagnosed, they did all these different tests, and mm -hmm. I failed the motor skills portion. Yes. And they told me during my diagnosis meeting that I would never work with my hands. They said that my fine motor skills were underdeveloped, that they'd never catch up to my peers, and that that door was closed. They told my parents, your son will never work in any field that requires the use of his hands or manual dexterity. And that was the ceiling they placed over me just because I had an autism diagnosis. Mm -hmm. Now, two years later, I was working full-time as an electric bassist, which uses your hands a little bit. And I perform as a magician, which again uses your fingers. So what I'd like you to do is just take any card. It doesn't matter what it is. Oh, that's a good one. Look at it, but don't let me see it. Can you remember what it is? Yes. Because if you forget, it's not a very impressive yes. trick. Okay. You just say stop <laughs> whenever you'd like. Stop. Okay, put it back on top. Now what we do is we take your card and we will mix it into the pack. We'll give it a cut. We'll give it a shuffle. So we end up in a place where you don't know what your card is, and I don't know where your card is. No, I've got that backwards. I don't know where your card is. You don't know what your card No, wait a minute. I, I don't know. You know what? Let's just start over. Okay. So, so uh, that's not your card. That's not my card. <laughs> really? Yes. No, no. I'm sure that's not your card. I'm getting rid of that one. I want to start over. I never get this one right. Okay. Okay, your card... There, is that? Yes. Wait a minute. Yes. Wait a minute. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. You sure? Okay, here, here. We put this one back in. I'll, here, just take the top one and... Uh, what are you doing? You messing with me? Okay. Okay, just say stop wherever you'd like. Stop. There? Here, go ahead. Fresh card. We'll start... Wait a minute. What's going on here? Okay. Okay. Take the card. Shuffle up the pack. Uh, new card. Just say stop. Stop. There? Here. Can you remember this one? Yes. Wait a minute. Okay. Okay. We take this card. We bury it. We're done. No more of this. One more time. Okay. Now, I have a confession to make to you. I'm cheating a little bit. Because this whole deck is actually the Three of Clubs. The entire deck, every card in it, is the Three of Clubs. Yes. Isn't that tricky? You can buy one of these decks at a magic store if you want. Every single card... Here, in fact, I want you to go ahead and take the pack and just spread them face down, face up on the table. Go ahead and spread them. Uh. <laughs> and you'll notice there's one card that's missing because uh. your card is actually not on the table. It's right up here yes. in my pocket. It's like we can learn how to read and write and do arithmetic. We can learn how to understand other people socially, how to connect with them socially, and in the art of magic, we can even learn how to control and manipulate them with those social tools. But it's all learned. For me, none of this is a natural social skill. They're all things that I've practiced and studied intellectually to reach a point where I can perform them live. For a lot of us, we don't do things in big chunks. We do them in very little steps over a long period of time. And that's where we really grow and develop. And I think reach our highest potential. At the same time, people on spectrum often get caught in an area where we stay where we're comfortable, where we feel safe, and where we feel in control. And that's also the place where we learn the least. So my concept of breaking out of the bubble is taking little steps out of your comfort zone, pushing yourself to be a little uncomfortable and a little more and a little more and these little steps start to expand your comfort zone and you learn to function in the flexible, unpredictable, real world where you can't always be safe and protected. You have to take risks and chances. And I think that's the ultimate goal for anyone with a disability is to function in the real adult world just like anyone else would. So when I present, I'm teaching ideas about moving forward in little steps, little pieces, and over time, 
combined with a plan of small steps and the concept of getting out of your comfort zone and pushing yourself and expanding your boundaries, I think those are the keys to finding success in the real world. Just like nobody picks up a guitar on day one and plays John Coltrane songs, nobody picks up a deck of cards and performs a classic piece of magic on their first attempt, and a lot of us on Spectrum don't get our social cues right the first time, but if we build on those and develop them just like any other learned skill, we can absolutely learn them just like anyone can. For all of the degrees and books and experience in the world that professionals have, none of them are you, and no one else can decide whether or not you will be successful. It doesn't matter what your diagnosis is, you are the sole owner of your own destiny and you can decide what you want to work on and how hard you want to push yourself to see it through.